We turn now to our live team coverage where in the PD, the storm has caused several businesses to close early and has caused a few power outages. News 13's Andrea Gibbons joins us now in downtown Florence. Andrea, I can see you got your hood up. It's raining out there. What else is it doing? Well, Patsy, conditions here are moderately calm. It's only a light drizzle. But if you've been anywhere near this area in the past hour, you have felt the strong winds. You're taking a look now at some video of the winds and the rain around Florence. Several downtown businesses closed in preparation for the storm, including El Gave and Holy Smoke in downtown. And some businesses say they've already seen power outages. Hers McBarkin, a pet supply store in Hartsville, made a, heart, a Facebook post that read, boom, boom, out goes the lights. They say they were forced to close early because of it. Coming up on News 13 at 4.30, I spoke with some workers across the street at, um, at, sorry, excuse me, Town Hall who say they are surprised they are still open and that they don't plan to close anytime soon. Reporting in Florence, Andrea Gibbons, News 13. All right, Andrea, thanks so much. And News 13's Gracie Fusco joins us live from downtown Myrtle Beach. Gracie, what have you seen out there today? Patsy, as you can see and hear right now, it is extremely windy. There have been parts on and off with rain. And surprisingly, I have seen a good amount of people on the road and even walking on the boardwalk and the beach earlier today and just a few minutes ago. So I'm gonna take a step behind the camera right now and I want you to see just how big and, and vicious these waves are looking right now. I mean, the wind is picking up hour by hour. It is getting pretty bad out. Just a few hours ago, I was in North Myrtle Beach and the winds were so extremely powerful. As you can see in this video, people were even walking on the beach. I spoke with some and they told me they wanted to check things out before the storm came in. Some even said they were here when last month's tornado came through and they are hoping that that doesn't happen again. Now coming up on News 13 at 430, you'll hear from one vacationer and the safety precautions he took ahead of today's severe weather. Reporting live in Myrtle Beach, Gracie Fusco, News 13. Thanks, Gracie. And we head farther down to the South Strand now, where News 13's Adriana Lawrence joins us from the Garden City Pier. Adriana, conditions out there look just as bad as everywhere else. Yeah, Patsy, you can see I'm out here by the pier and I mean, the wind is just it's been really picking up. I've been out here for the past hour and we can tell in the past 20 minutes it's really started to pick up. Some rain is coming through right now. Um, if I get out of the shot here, my photographer Alec can zoom in, in here in the pier. You can see the waves are just crashing up to the pier there. It looks like the waves, I mean, they're four to six feet, but they're just coming up there up to the pier and just really, you know, hitting the pier there. And if we go on farther down the beach here, you can see the waves are coming up a, a little bit too far up the dunes here. I mean, Garden City, it's known for, you know, having these high dunes and high tides. Uh, high tide tonight isn't until 530. So but you can still see some of the waves uh, crashing here on the beach. So we will definitely keep you updated. But coming up at 430, we'll have an update on how the streets here are looking down in Garden City. Live in Garden City, Adrian Lawrence, News 13. Thanks, Adriana. And continuing our storm coverage, we've learned Horry County Schools will have a two-hour delay tomorrow. In the PD, Scotland County Schools will also have a two-hour delay. A number of districts and colleges in our area have adjusted schedules because of that severe weather threat. Stay up to date with the latest changes right now on WBTW.com. And Horry County declared a state of emergency ahead of today's storm. The emergency ordinance is adopted in case the life or safety of the people in our area are impacted. This is in effect for 60 days or until County Council terminates it. And today, Horry County government offices are closed. The city of Myrtle Beach offices, facilities and rec centers, those closed at 1 o'clock this afternoon ahead of this anticipated weather. All afternoon and evening programs and events are canceled, including the Workforce Housing Advisory Board meeting. Surfside Beach Town Council canceled its Tuesday meetings and town offices closed at noon today. And then in the PD, Darlington County closed general government offices at noon and the landfill and all convenience stations closed at 1230. Duke Energy says it's prepared for possible outages. The company's biggest concern, the high winds, which can cause downed trees and power lines. Here's a look at our current outages right now. Duke Energy says there's just more than 1,600 active outages in the Carolinas right now and estimates more than 88,000 customers are without power. Duke Energy says about 800 of those without power are in the Hartsville area. And there's about 2,000 people in Florence and Darlington counties without power right now. 
Here's a look at the ocean this morning in Garden City, a little bit calmer than we just saw it live. The city of Myrtle Beach, though, did post double red flags today. This means the beach is closed for swimming because of those dangerous surf conditions. And then you can really see the wind picking up in Garden City. As usual, we see these winds, especially down there on the South Strand.